was three years old when I started playing by ear whatever I would hear on the radio or on LP. My dad died a month before I was born. He had an LP collection that had um, Santana, The Who, The Beatles, The Rolling Stones. He also had two boxes of symphonies, Tchaikovsky and Beethoven symphonies, and somehow the freedom of expression with those symphonies um, really turned me on. Every track was more than four minutes and there was no limit to what emotions can be um, communicated. So um, I dug that and I thought I wanted to be a part of that world. My first sonata that I learned by myself was the Moonlight Sonata and um, I was five. And every time I played those pieces, I was possessed. It sounds dramatic, but this, this is the only way that I, I could describe it. I was possessed by the ghost of Beethoven. Every time I would play um, his music, something would just take over me and I was in that zone. It's like a perfect evening, a perfect moment. It just feels right. Sound never needs to be forced. You're just relaxed. Uh, no matter what sound um, you envision, it just comes out. That's, um, that's to me the, uh, the idea of the perfect piano. Um, the piano works with you. First time I owned the Steinway, I was eight. It's always been my favorite piano. I think they're just very, very versatile. I love the sound that comes out of the piano and um, it just feels very comfortable. You're always communicating a piece of yourself. If a piece is really inside of you, you can't help but communicate yourself through um, a piece of music, no matter how old it is. Every performance is very different for me. It's never, it's never the same old, same old. I guess just like act, you know, acting, every take is always different. There is an interpretation that the the actor has, but. It's always responding to the moment and reacting. It stays fresh when one is reacting to um, his or her surroundings, to the audience, to everything. <laughs> Music means everything to me. Music is heaven.